evening. It's about, mm, it's 1024. And I just felt like making a video. It was 100 degrees here in Minnesota today. And right now, I think it's 90. Um, and yesterday it was like 95. And I think tomorrow it's supposed to be 90 something. So sorry if I have the fan on, I have the upper fan on, I have all the windows open. At least there's a really nice breeze in here. And as it's getting later, it's cooling down. I mean, amazing what 10 degrees can do. And I'm already ready for bed. I already am sweating, <laughs> took off my makeup. And, um, but I thought I would just do like an update of van life and maybe because I'm going through this like, well, I don't wanna say tough time. Listen, a lot of people have it a lot tougher than I do. And uh, just certain things that have come up. You know, I look back now and I can't even believe that I have already traveled and come back. And you know, since I've been back, you if you've been watching, you know, came back, did my taxes. That's why I came back in April and it was super cold then. So it's funny, it goes from like 30 degrees in what, April and May to like 100 degrees in June. But that's just, you know, the things you can't predict and that's part of doing van life. And I just want to, you know, show you the reality of it. So where, you know, a lot of people have a place that they have um, air conditioning and they can just go turn it on. Uh, I would have to turn on my van and the van sucks up a lot of gas and gas costs a lot of money. And so, you know, you just deal with it. And I don't know, I was sitting up front before and I thought to myself, you know, these are the times that I actually, I think, I mean, maybe not at the moment, but I look back of what I've been through going over mountains and bridges when I was so afraid of all that, even driving on the freeway, you know, everything that I've been through. And it's what built me to the person I'm becoming, which is way more than I ever would have thought. And especially at 56. And I was thinking today too, oh, and then the auxiliary battery is running out. <laughs> That's why the lights have dimmed. I haven't dimmed them to make it romantic or anything. That's why, because pretty soon the auxiliary battery, and I plugged in my um, power pack today at my mom's, so I have to plug that in probably every two days. Um, it goes up, <laughs> I'm gonna be sweating. It goes up to, you know, I charge it full charge, 100, but then I'm plugging in uh, the cooler, so when it's not plugged into, ooh, actually that feels good, I don't care. Uh, when I plug it into the um, the auxiliary battery, uh, then when the power pack is charged, I plug it into that. And, you know, it takes two days and it sucks up the energy. Plus, I um, at night, I usually plug in my computer and my phone and my little fan I got here. Um, so, yeah, so every two days I have to do that. Well, I went over early to my mom's this morning to plug it in. And it was one of those outlets that, you know, you have to flip the switch for it to have the power on, which I do not understand. So I got there tonight. And I went to unplug it and I went to make sure it was charged to 100% and it was at 14% because it was not charging. So I don't even have my power pack tonight. So, which is fine. Um, but you know, too, I was thinking about the things you give up to do life like this, because it is, for me, a choice. A lot of people, it isn't. And for me, 
because I was thinking about, I was kind of thinking now it's not really a choice for me anymore because, you know, I'm just scraping by like the rest of us. You know, I made money a little bit off of YouTube, maybe about 800 to 1,000 a month. And then, um, uh, you know, I did the document coding job. <laughs> okay, the lights are gonna go completely out, so. Uh, and then, um, uh, I just got noticed that I got a makeup job that I'll be doing in October, which is perfect because it's like October 2nd to whatever, the, it's for a week. And so not only am I doing the hair and the makeup, um, I'm doing the, uh, be a production assistant and I'll be everything that they need me to be. And um, I am going to make a good chunk of money for that. And that will truly, truly, truly help me for when I leave. I plan on leaving hopefully mid-October. And my plan is, um, yeah, I was gonna go straight to Georgia, but I am now gonna go to, my plan is to go to Seattle to see Jesse, because I've been saying I was gonna go out there. And um, then I think I'm gonna head to Sedona to see Donna. I just talked to her last night and She's excited to get the band back together and she has all these day trips that we can go do. Um, and then from there, I will make a plan. But I think to begin with, that's what I'm gonna do. And yeah, you know, I was thinking, so I left what, November? December, January, February, March, April, May, June. So it's only been seven months since I left. And I watched the first video uh, a couple weeks ago taking off out of the driveway and I think back to that now <laughs> I didn't even know what I was getting myself into but at the time I didn't even care it was the that was the adventure of it all and I was telling Donna now I'm like kind of a seasoned traveler after seven months but I will tell you that I can't see life for me any different in the near future. Yeah, I was thinking today about, um, like if I would be happy being where I was, you know, staying at my house, my rental, and, you know, just doing what I was doing. And, you know, I have experienced so many different things just in seven months, just in seven months. And I mean, my YouTube channel, I never would have thought that. I've made so many friends in you guys. And I will tell you something, which I've been thinking recently too. I, a lot of times, get more support from you, like people, I feel like I know, but I know just through this, like I don't know personally, than a lot of times, sorry, I'm sweating, uh, than a lot of times the people actually closest to me and so um, I truly truly appreciate that and um, you know I was just watching I watched it's called the vagabond if you watch them they're on a boat and then Nate and Kara I don't watch them very often but they were on the boat so I was watching them and you know they're couples who travel and I really 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 want to travel like internationally I want to see what's out there. I want to go to like Tahiti. Um, I'd love to stay in one of those huts that's been on my bucket list um, that has, you know, that's in the water. Um, Bali, uh, you know, just so many places uh, that I'd love to visit. Um, but, you know, I got to put in the work. I got to make the money. That's how I got to do that. And, um, and it's, I've been working so hard, like when I said the other day, I feel like I'm spinning my wheels because on social media, you have to learn new things, um, you know, to up your game and keep it going. And you wanna do that too, because you wanna grow as a creator. Uh, and I love to be creative, um, you know, but there's only so much time in a day. And so, uh, but today I was at the library because it was cool there. <laughs> And I went down this rabbit hole and somehow found this uh, video and it taught me how to, because I was looking to see how, if I could sell my bracelets 
on my YouTube channel and um, and I found this thing where you can sell merch and then they showed you how you can make um, like the logos for the things on Canva which I already have worked in Canva before and I really love I I could spend hours like working on that stuff I could get lost in all that and actually I was working on it for like two or three hours um, and lost all track of time and I thought it said that my merch store was up all I really wanted to do was make mugs because I think that one I put good morning and then it has like a um, scenery of kind of like a forest with a sun and then it says adventures over 50 on the bottom and then the other one was um uh i think it said your magic um not don't forget your magic but your magic yeah um and uh so i have that up i think it's up i gotta check it because i went to look at my video because it's supposed to put it underneath your video so I'm gonna check that. But those are the things that I'm working on, things, oh, and then I started uh, to fly my drone. I have to become a drone pilot. I have to get my pilot's license. And I just started watching this video about studying for it. And the thing that you don't know about me, but you probably know because I have all these certifications, is that I love to be challenged I don't want to say with the test because I don't, I mean, it's not like I love tests, but I love to listen to information and like write it down. I take notes and then I want to be like, you know, tested on it. And to me, that's exciting. I don't know. But this video is like an hour and 43 minutes. And so um, I'm only like 20 minutes in. And so I have to keep watching it. And some guy said he watched it twice and he went and took the test it's $175 um, but then you can fly your drone anywhere and even just the little bit that I've learned just from the 20 minutes of watching it um, has taught me a lot already and then I have to learn how to use the drone I guess <laughs> it's funny the guy said the FAA doesn't make sure you know how to fly the drone they just want you to pass the pilot test so okay but I do plan on flying the drone pretty soon uh, and doing that. Again, it's a time thing. And I start at Walgreens. I'm working Wednesdays and Thursdays at Walgreens. And um, I'm doing truck. So I think I might make a video about showing you, because I've done truck before, about what it's like doing the truck and just, you know, what it's like working there. Um, so yeah. But I just wanted to give you an update. Uh, you know, I, I know I remember sitting back here. Remember I used to do these talks when I was on the road and I was by myself and I didn't know where I was and sometimes I was crying. And, um, and I remember that's when I was like in New Mexico and um, oh, where was the place? When I went over that hill and I didn't know that there was a mountain you think I'd remember maybe I don't remember because I'm blocking it out for a reason but uh, I just remember being at that Cracker Barrel and saying that van life sucked and van life alone sucked because you had to figure it all out for yourself and you know what's interesting is now I like being alone I I, I was thinking too, I was thinking a lot. I think I've said that. I, I was thinking, I was thinking, because I have been thinking <laughs> that, you know, about like loud noises. I used to like to, you know, go out and dance and when it was loud and stuff. And I don't know, it must just be, I don't know if I'm getting older or I just, um, you know how you give so much during the day that then you just want to be quiet at times. And I just want to work and I just want to focus and learn these things. And, I'm really excited for that. And even like being hot like this, listen, I saw a lot of people today that were homeless and, or I assume, um, there were some at the library because that's a free place to go, that it was cool to get out of 100 degree heat. Um, there was a guy walking and I almost stopped to, I wanted to give him a fanny pack, but 
it seems like all the times now that I've seen people is I'm on like the other side of the street and you know I, I have to turn around which really is no big deal to me but in these situations it seems to be a little more uh, tricky than than normal uh, and the two guys at the library I almost went out to get them a fanny pack but I had my computer and you know everything um, say on the floor I brought the beads I was gonna do bracelets but I ended up going down the hole with the merch thing um, and you know even like starting that stuff I don't know if it's up or it's work now but it's something that then I've started at least and I can get better at um, again it's just more creating and more stuff like that but as far as van life goes I'm in a really good place right now mentally even if it is a hundred degrees here uh, and I don't mind being uncomfortable I think to me that's part of the challenge like I said that's the growth of it all that's I, that's what I kind of thrive on I thrive on challenges um, and there's so many more like personal things that I want to conquer in myself that I know could make my life even better. Um, so yeah, so it just is really like, uh, I feel the growth. I feel the growth and like I said, even in a hundred degree heat, I don't mind that. And I think to myself too, there are so many people that have so much less than me that this isn't even an, a, an option. Do you know I mean being out on the street or being in this heat? They really don't have anywhere to go. I have a van to go to. I can go see my mom who has air conditioning. I can't sleep over there, but I can go there. I've had friends offer their house to me. And um, I'm fine in the van. Like This is my home. This is my home. And so it's all good. And so I just kind of wanted to, I don't know why, I just felt the need. And I've been doing more videos. People are like, you know, take your time. You know, you go take a rest and stuff. But this is what... I, I like to do this is I like to reach out and share these things um, and again just share my journey so hopefully I'm not putting up too much content now uh, you might get sick of me but um yeah so now I'm gonna try to go to sleep that's the hard part is sleeping um, in the heat I mean we all know that but there is a really nice breeze, thank goodness. And so I think that helped last night too. Um, and I'm used to the parking lot noises, so that doesn't bother me. And I don't know if you can hear, there's a couple semis and they have their trucks running too. So we're all in a little group here the other night. The other, well, yeah, it was night. Um, a van parked like kitty corner. Do you say caddy corner or kitty corner? It's funny when people say caddy corner I kind of laugh because we've always said kitty corner but then if you say caddy corner me saying kitty corner might be weird to you but park like you know the space here I am and they park like right there and then another guy came and parked right here and so we were all like really grouped close together um, and I saw a van just pull up before and there's another trailer um, out there a police officer right here um so yeah so it's been nice i stayed somewhere else last night you just keep kind of moving around and um that's what i was worried about was finding places but so far so good and if i get kicked out of here then i there's other places that i know and that's one nice thing about being in your hometown you know you never feel alone because i could go park in front of my old neighbor's house and uh and just set camp there on the street so that's the one nice thing about being at home when you're out on the road you know you don't know where you are or, you know whatever so um yeah but that's it so i went from it being bright to now all the lights going off and i guess that's my cue to say good night gracie so okay i hope you go out and make an adventure like i said it doesn't have to be big just 
you know, doing something that you've never done before. Like stretch yourself, go out of your comfort zone. Um, you know, just make life a little more exciting. And I was thinking that too, because I talk to people and, you know, they say like I motivate them, uh, but I don't feel motivational. I'm just doing, trying to motivate myself to grow. And so, you know, that's something where I was saying the other day, like we all have to take responsibility for ourselves. It's not up to somebody else, it's up to you. You actually have to make the move to do those things. And I will tell you, had I not taken that step, even though it was, you know, scary at first, um, but like I said, I was more afraid not to do it because I was more afraid to come to the end of my life and say, what if, or I wish I did, I wish I had, why didn't I? So that was the fear. Okay, I'm gonna let you go. Go out and make an adventure, no matter how big or how small. You don't have to sell everything and move into a van and sleep in it in 100 degree, degree? <laughs> degree weather. I've already done that. Go call someone you love and as Joy says, tell them that you love them and don't you dare think twice that you, you can do whatever you put your mind to. Just take a baby step towards it, okay? And don't you dare forget your magic. Okay, I'll see you in the next one.